You know, I feel like when I record, I should get in the habit of saying the exact same like intro and outro every single video. But that's just not me. I feel like repetition, repetition for me is just, it's boring. You know, like if I say the same thing over and over and over and over and over, sure, it might help me get better. And like, you know, same intro, like the intros and outros and what. But I find it so boring, you know? It, it's like I could have just wrote, written something down and kept that as the intro and outro every single video, but that's boring to me. But uh, I mean, this is my intro. So. <laughs> Oh gosh. Um, dude, I don't even remember what we did last video. All I know is, all I know is some chaos happened. That's all I know. You know what I think is interesting? So right now we're in like the winter chapter of I guess like the game. And it's playing like this, like soft, it's like soft Christmassy. It's crazy. And then it gets to this dark, like, mysterious music as soon as you walk into the door. <laughs> Welcome back. Hello, Professor. I have news. The goblins are looking for something. Another repository. They've built drills to help with their search. Oh, most troubling. Are these repositories like the broken container I found at Rookwood Castle? They are. I fear we have no time to lose. Have a look at the map. Fortunately, the next trial is fairly nearby. It's Hogwarts. As you know, I was headmistress in my time. My portrait hangs in the headmaster's office. In fact, I witnessed Professor Black learn of your arrival. And I'll confess that I wondered about you. Wait, is the next trial in the Headmaster's office? It is. I had hoped that when the time came, the occupant of that office would be of help to us. Unfortunately, this Headmaster seems wildly unconcerned with anything but himself. You'll need to access the office while he's away. I understand. Very well. I'll find some way to get in. Good. I shall meet you in my portrait there. Until then. How will I gain access to the headmaster's office? Perhaps Professor Fig will know what to do. How nice to see you. Like Professor Fig. I don't know what to do. Although he is helping us out. Goodness. Oh, one day I'm gonna figure out where that chest is. Oh, I feel like I've gotten it all. I don't know. What do we have here? Hello, Hamora. What kind of classroom is this? Revelio. Professor Fig, me boy. Professor Fig, the keepers have shown me where the next trial is. Has something changed? Lodgok and I have learned that the goblins are searching for another repository, 
like the one we saw at Rookwood Castle, and I discovered that they're building massive drills to help in their search. Professor Fitzgerald seemed very concerned. I see. Ranrock clearly knows even more than we suspected. And sir, there's something else. Lord Gok knew Miriam. He knew Miriam? They encountered each other at Rookwood Castle. She was doing research. That's where she found the container with the port key. He liked her so much that he let her leave with it, despite orders from Ranrock. I don't know what to say. She could win over almost anyone. I want to hear more of this. And, in fact, I'd like to speak with Lodgok directly. But we've no time now. Where is the next trial? Believe it or not, it's in the headmaster's office. Incredible. Very well. You'll need the password to get past the stone gargoyle. The headmaster's house elf will know it. I don't know the headmaster's house elf. Will he even speak to me? I imagine he's loyal to the headmaster. He is. So you'll need a disguise. I have just the thing. A polyjuice potion. You'll look and sound like Professor Black. Wait, doesn't polyjuice potion require a bit of the person you want to change into? And take ages to brew? It does. So how do you already have polyjuice potion to change into Professor Black? One never knows when such a thing may come in handy. Let's just say I felt the need to be prepared for anything after my fruitless trip to the Ministry on his behalf. Now, time is of the essence. Drink up and I shall explain more. Yo, that's crazy! <laughs> How do you feel? Uh, incredible. I won't forget that taste anytime soon. <clears throat> How do I sound? Convincing. I've taken the liberty of transfiguring your robes. As we discussed, you'll need the password from Scrope, who could be anywhere in the castle. You might look for Professor Kagawa. She's taken to badgering the poor elf about Quidditch in the hopes that he can convince Black to change his mind. Thus far, unsuccessfully. I see. But what if Professor Black sees me? Leave him to me. I shall tell him where to meet a liaison from the Ministry in Hogsmeade. That should give you plenty of time. Thank you, Professor. I suppose we'll meet again in the map chamber. It's rather strange to hear gratitude coming from Professor Black. <laughs> I'll see you there. Now to find the Headmaster's house elf. Yo, oh, this is crazy, bro. I ain't ever think something like this is gonna happen. Sure. Yup! Do you have a moment, Professor? Oh, shit. I thought that was him. Professor, I was hoping to catch you. I. Oh, I, um, places to be, Professor Sharp. Places to be. Of course, sir. Only, <clears throat> you'd asked me about a particular potion, and I, well, I... I did? I did, yes. Well, spit it out, Sharp. I don't have all day. Probably best not to discuss it here, sir. <laughs> really? Why can't we talk about potions here? Seems fine to me. Very well. I've brewed the cure for boils you wanted. I can drop it by your office when it's convenient. <laughs> of course, yes. No need for all the cloak and dagger. Simply have a student deliver it. A student. Very well, sir, if you insist. I do. And thank you, Sharp. I just hope you've brewed enough for all my boils. Now, to determine which student gets this rather unenviable task. <laughs> if you must speak with me, consult my secretaries or what have you. Now move along. This is the Stand proud, pure bloods. <clears throat> the future is yours. This is just crazy. I heard the headmaster approaching.
Gareth! Uh, uh, Mr. Weasley! What are you doing here? Don't you have uh, somewhere to be? Oh, Professor, yes, of course. All sorts of places I'd rather be right now. Uh, do you need something from me? I'm looking for my house elf. Surely you've seen him? Ah, the little one-eared fellow. I saw him heading to the Great Hall moments ago, muttering on about your, um, sterling graces, sir. I am watching you, Mr. Weasley. Mr. Redding, who owns Honeydukes, tells me some of his billywig stings recently went missing. Prime potion ingredient. And I know you fancy yourself a skilled potioneer. What? But, sir, I haven't been anywhere near Honeydukes. I... Bah! That's enough from you. Just know that I have eyes and ears everywhere. On your way, Mr. Weasley. Oh. <laughs> well, there's one for my diary. When I witness what passes for magic in these halls, I, uh, I simply mourn for the future of the wizarding world. Professor Black. Oh, crap. How are you, sir? Mr. Gaunt, where do you think you're going? I beg your pardon, sir. I'm simply on my way outside. Taking the day off, eh? Typical student, wasting the hours away. I... I have to write 20 inches on Dittany, and its uses was heading to the greenhouse. Ah, yes. Mixed with, uh, bubo tuba pus makes a, a fine, uh, mustache paste. Yes, mustache paste. Uh, I find. <clears throat> Are you feeling all right, sir? You don't seem yourself. I assure you, I am quite healthy, Gaunt. If I need a medical diagnosis, I shall head to St. Mungo's. Bro, we about to fold. Something is very wrong with Professor Black. We about to Professor, fold. a word? Professor Black, again. It is not too late to reconsider your decision regarding Quidditch. We... we could still have trials and a somewhat shortened season. It would be better than none at all. But the injury, Madam Kagawa. Professor, more than one student has taken a bludger to the head on our pitch. I dare say it knocked some sense into them. And they are fine now. The fact that it happened to be a pure blood, well, that's no reason to... What? Nonsense! That you would trivialize the health of a student over a, a silly game. A silly game? I... You are quite impossible sometimes. Sir, I have a good mind to write to the Department of Magical Games and Sports at the Ministry about you. Wait, I'll, I'll, I lost my... I lost track of what was going on. I've got I've a good mind to write to the Department of Magical Games. Just... Uh... I should think you'd have better things to do with your time. <clears throat> now, where's my elf? I... Good day, Professor. And I spotted Scrope in the Great Hall. Seems to be avoiding me. Hmm, I wonder why. Good day, Madam Kagawa. What did we do to deserve him as a headmaster? I haven't time for any of you at the moment. None. None at all. Move aside. This is crazy. <laughs> it's the headmaster and he's coming this way. Miss Broom, a word. Oh, Professor, this is an uh, interesting surprise. It's Bloom, by the way. Remind me of your area of affinity, Broom. OWLs are swift approaching. Charms, sir. Non-verbal spells. Might work on one that makes me disappear. Well, keep at it, Broom. And before you know it, you'll be as invisible as that new fifth year seems to be. They're not invisible. I mean, I've seen them about. I mean, yes, sir. <laughs> Speaking of invisible, where's my blasted house elf? Something seems a little off with the headmaster. I don't think I'm supposed to be talking to him. I feel like talking to like these like the characters in here just messing me up. 
<clears throat> I wonder almost daily why I accepted this appointment from the Ministry. Oh, gosh. Professor, I need oh. to speak to you. Is she gonna catch me? Hello, Professor Black. Ah, Professor Weasley. How, how delightful to see you. Sir? Ah, uh, since I have you here, I wonder if I might, um, speak with you about Professor Fig. Oh. Very well. I've decided to give him a bit more uh, leeway with his time. Leeway, Professor? Are you sure that's wise? I confess I do worry for his students. He's rarely here as it is. So is he truly a villain? Oh, gosh, I don't know. Did this get him fired or something? Or I, I, I probably just got to sound like him. Oh. I realize that, and I'd like to keep it that way. I see. But, sir, if I may, I am wary of how much time the new fifth year seems to be spending away from the castle, supposedly on Professor Fig's behalf. I've heard unsettling rumors of their escapades. Everything from sneaking into the Forbidden Forest to confronting Ranrock's loyalists and Rookwood's lot. What? <clears throat> Goodness. You cannot believe everything you hear, Professor. No, 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 you cannot. <clears throat> I mean, I shall keep an eye on Fig. You simply keep doing the wonderful job that you're doing. <laughs> simply wonderful. I... well, I... Um, thank you. But I'm happy to look into... Uh, good! Good. That'll be all, Weasley. I, I mean, Professor Weasley. Good day. A wonderful job. Leeway for Professor Fig. I shall never understand that man. That ought to give Professor Fig some breathing room. You know, I haven't been in here since... since the start of this game. It's... It's insane. Professor Black is happy with Scrope's performance as his house elf. There's no doubt in Scrope's mind. Scrope! Oh, greetings, Master. Remind me of the password to my office. Oh, but Master made Scrope swear never to tell anyone. Even Master himself. How dare you question me? I've a mind to give you a matching set of ears. Uh, uh, yes, sir. Uh, of course, sir. Uh, Scrope begs forgiveness. It is the Black Family motto, Master. Hmm. Right. Of course. I, uh... Master does remember it. Do a strain is to do a family raid. Um, I might have to say it's the third one. It's pure bloods forever, isn't it? Uh, uh, close, Master. Uh, Scrope thinks Master is indeed testing Scrope. Uh, it is always pure. <laughs> Obviously. And, of course, as Master knows, in French. Ah, yes, of course. Uh, I order you to pronounce it for me. Oh. But Master knows that Scrope's French is most pitiful. Oh, uh, very well. Toujours pur. Ha! Thank you. Never speak of this conversation with me or anyone else. Of course, sir. Scrope shall try his best to keep out of Master's way. The polyjuice potion's wearing off. I best get out of sight. Ahem. Attention, oh, shoot. I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta go. Ah, <sighs> <sighs> made it just in time. It's wearing off. Fig was right. I can't believe it worked. Now to speak the password to the gargoyle.
Yo, imagine if I just turn back to me while I try to do that speech. So does this mean like Gryffindor's winning? The um in terms of points for all, for all the houses, is that what that is? Or is it just because I'm a Gryffindor? like bubble pop is that's what I'm saying like I don't know if that really matters or not now rebellion I could be crazy oh, I Where is that thing? Is it already over there? No clue, not gonna worry about it. It's like it's right next to me. purpose in it but it's actually kind of cool Alohomora. Like imagine if you couldn't teleport, you had to walk up all of those. I could. Every day too? Nah. 
And there's no elevators. I ain't doing. They're still going. The gargoyle. That's where I need to speak the password. Revelio. Toujours pure. Bro, and there's even more <laughs> stairs. I wonder if all the elite wizarding families have a motto. But his office solid? Like, what y'all? This place clean. It's good to see you. All thanks to Professor Fig's quick thinking. Now what? Approach the pedestal in the antechamber. And read the book that appears. I suspect there will be more to this than reading a book. Your suspicions are correct. We shall speak when you are finished. Has this been under the headmaster's nose all this time? I was thinking it'd be like some type of like. That like must be the pedestal. This. This is good. Where am I? Professor Fitzgerald? Can you hear me? I am here. In this place. You may call me Neve. You shall be witness to a fable. Pay attention. Things are not always as they seem. You must move swiftly and cautiously. Use the tools you encounter to find me. No, the first you will need is a cloak. In this place, as in life, death takes many forms. Avoid each of them at all costs. This is actually cool. when I could. I'd be free by now. It's definitely interesting. They're gone. For now. I need to get out of here. Where could Neve be? Just like lost for where just what's going on right? I need to time this just right. Oh my you know, which direction I gotta go. Guess this one is right there. That one stays right there. Two in the back, kind of left or right. 
So as soon as they, right now, are going. I see a staircase straight ahead. Whoa. I hope I don't have to like re record this. I feel like I feel like I wasn't getting hurt through my microphone. Probably because I was too far out of it. Just didn't look like it was out. Pick him up. Go, 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 go. Yo! They won't be able to find me if I go up there. Imagine they all turned around at once. Man, that'd be so dumb. I'd best move while I can. Neve must be here somewhere. Too many. I must cross this road as fast as I can. Yo, there really is a lot. Jeez. How do I go about doing this? So the guy on the left seems to be the only one. Oh. 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 I guess I'm gonna I'm, I'm, I'm wait and see if he be changed the fact. I don't think he's gonna move. That's where I need to go, but I need to find a way past them. Oh, you feel going turn around? I need you to do the same, sir. Please. You. So I wonder whose story this is, or what story this is. Nothing this way, but more danger. There must be another way to find you. I need to turn bro, back. Bro, 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 There's no getting bro, past him that way. Bro, please. No! Close tight. No way but forward, I suppose. Risking it all in this. Please don't go out before. Please. Now's my chance. Please don't look at me. Please don't look at me. the way forward. Can this be? I 
think I'm invisible. Do I got an invisibility cloak? Is this so? Which direction am I off? That way. But, okay, I don't, I'm confused because that opened. But it says I'm supposed to. So, well, I can't go there. I'm just circling back around? Yep! Oh my. Can't go that way. What do I do? You gonna tell me I can just walk past him now? Man, they, they better not be playing. They better not be playing. Because this ain't funny. They can't see me at all. I can get closer to them. One of them just starts to spot me. I'm going to be scared. This is the way forward. Finally free. Now where are you, Neve? Hey, yo, why would you do that? Why would you do that? You have outrun death thus far, but have yet to find me. Keep searching, but this time you will be unable to hide. Wield the wand you see before you. Do not squander its extraordinary power. I only get one dang, that's crazy. I don't even get to change it up. No, I am, man. Stupid. 
Where's the last one? Oh, you don't. Descendo. Sometimes my voice is getting picked up in the microphone, other times it's not. I don't know. It's like directly in my face. Or at least it looks like it's not getting picked. Kind of worrying. the battle in four minutes and ten seconds have you lost your mind Bombarder. 
dude. Let's go, big dude. Let's go, please. Get out of here. Defend us. That's not okay. That's not okay. Defender. Bombarder. Defender. Don't want to Stupid. Stupid. Defender. Descender. That's not okay. Oh my god! Those kind of just get rid of me. Whoa! Like they basically died one hit. The trolls are the problem. Bombarda. Defend them. What? I clearly blocked that. Why are you playing with me? Go! Bombarda. Protego Defender Stupid This dirty rat Yo Yo Relax oh my god Defender Bombada Everything I hate you. I hate you. Bombarder. Defender. Oh, everything get off me. Depulsor. Bombarder. Oh, oh no. Defender. Descender.
Rufindo. Bovada. Yo, you suck. 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 Defendo. You suck. Defendo. Defendo. Oh, what the heck? Defendo. I don't ever want to do that again. Like, if I'm being 100 with y'all, I don't ever want to do that again. I got bullied by a troll three times and died. I don't ever want to do that again. Stone. This must be for me. You are far from finished. Pass through the mourners ahead. Nothing is what it seems. I was honestly hoping that was it. Don't get I me can't wrong. Believe she's dead. This is cool. Dear sweet Neve. But I thought this dead. was it. <laughs> Neve. We won't be the same without her. Oh, Neve is a lady, it? Or no? Is this just a story? You found me. But you cannot undo what has been done. The magic of the stone can only conjure a shadow of my former self. This is her story. But there is no light without shadow as there is no shadow without light. Simply because you can eliminate darkness does not always mean that you should. Yo, hers is probably like the coolest trial. Remember that as you witness my memory. That we've done so far. Strange, but cool. Very unique. Dora, what you did for your father was remarkable, wasn't it? And Percival needn't worry about the strands of emotion or the traces that this magic leaves. I found a way to contain all of it. You haven't stopped. Goblin Silver. You spoke to a goblin about this. Don't worry, he has no idea what we're containing. We don't know what effect any of this may have. The emotions, the dark traits. You sound like Percival. And as it happens, I do know. It is a source of strength, of focus. Somehow it enhances my ability to wield magic. I don't follow, Isadora. I think we can harness it. Power like this is not to be toyed with in the wrong hands. You saw what I did for my father. Oh, Neve, imagine the good we could do. 
Everyone is in some kind of pain. What are you doing? Breathe it in. Oh, can you feel it? Oh, it's Adora. This must stop. All of us. You've kept this power to yourselves for so long because you fear it. I choose to embrace it. That girl's a sociopath, bro. She's lost her mind. Is it true? Has someone completed the first three trials? It is. And I have. But you are so... Young? I know. You must be Professor Bacar. I am. Pleased to meet you. The pensive memory I just witnessed was Isadora inhaling painful emotions. She was. I mean, it definitely was fascinating. I don't know. I don't know what to say here, though. I'm gonna just go... I was amazed to see that it seemed to give her some sort of power, and that she could harness it. But how? I worry that you seem more intrigued than repulsed. I hesitate to reveal the location of my pensive to someone who, perhaps, has yet to understand the responsibility of power. I can assure you, Professor, I do. In fact, what you don't yet know is that a dangerous goblin called Ranrock has accessed the repository at Rookwood Castle. He has learned to harness the contents of it as a source of immense power. He plans to use that power against wizard kind. We have no time to waste. I see. Nonetheless, the knowledge you shall gain after you witness my memories is too valuable to share without further consideration. I shall require time to confer with the other keepers. It seems we have no choice but to wait, frustrating as it is. I heard what you told Professor Bakar. Isadora was inhaling emotions to gain power? She was. And she pulled emotions, as she did from her father, from Professor Fitzgerald, without permission. Monstrous. What's more, she said that she found a way to store the traces of magic she extracted in goblin silver. The repositories? Possibly. There's something I didn't get a chance to tell you earlier. Ranrock has been digging at locations tied to the five names he found in the journals of a goblin metal worker named Bragball. Five names? The Keepers, and who else? Isadora Morganak? Precisely. That's how he's been one step ahead of us. Gringotts, the Tower, Rookwood Castle. If the Keepers won't tell you where the next trial is yet, I say we at least maintain a watch on Ranrock. Perhaps he'll lead us to more information. Perhaps. I hope to hear from Lord Gok soon. I haven't heard anything since I learned of the drills. Oh, and as you've probably guessed by now, your Polyjuice plan worked like a charm. I knew it would. I may have done too good a job distracting Black. I had no idea he can't hold his fire whiskey. Dang, where you got him drunk? That's crazy. that note I will catch you all I shouldn't have video. reacted so bitterly about your goblin friend I apologize I hope we can finish what we started with the triptych please meet me at the southern coast we can search for the final canvas piece